Good afternoon, all. Thank you for coming to my presentation. I am here to learn from you on behalf of a 98 senior high school, Speak Magazine, and Forum of Science Teenager, or known as FOSCA. I believe some of you had already saw me. Yesterday, I was on the stage uh, as a representative of Indonesia delegate, and now here I am again as a representative of Tunza Eco Generation. It is an organization that is held by UNEP, United Nations Environment Program. You see the picture over there? That picture was exhibited there in front near the entrance and I think this picture is the best picture. Not because there is me, but this show the importance to involve youth volunteer and disaster risk management. Before, in this big event, only big people could attend like all of you. But thanks for all of you, now young people like me have the opportunity to speak up. I believe this will be a good investment for more resilient people in this planet. Anyway, my name is Angi Nurkonita, but you can just simply call me Angi. I am 16 years old. Probably I'm the youngest who is here. Uh, I like many things. And uh, it will be delightful if we could have uh, more conversation about my project through Facebook or Twitter. Let's come to my project. My project name is Kolaturahmi. It is a combination of three words. School, well, you know school. Tor, everybody loves Tor, not only just young people. And Rahmi means love or patient. So if we combine both of the three words, school to Rahmi means a social network for school. By the name, we know that the focus of our program is for school. Uh, the focus is school, especially schools and vulnerable areas in Asia, whether it's an established school or emergency temporary school. Now let's come to the word Thor. The project encourages schools to have Saver Schools Club. So when the Saver Schools Club is made, we arrange some sort of cross visit like a field trip from one school to another. And from this field visit, we try to um, share information about disaster risk reduction in fun ways, games, music, etc. Now come to the word Rahmi, means patient. The target is to encourage students to discuss issues about a uh, disaster issue with patient or to speak it out through a uh, media like, like these magazines. And we could also share information online through website like which I often wrote in Tunza Echo Generation UNEP website. So the project is starting to gain support. Now I have monthly column and this magazine for one year. And uh, I also have um, uh, uh, some sort of band or music community. And luckily this music group has been awarded internationally in Brasilia and Korea for our performances. And fortunately, thank, thank goodness, my grandma also support me by giving a slot of land, which in the future, I hope we could um, make it to be a school at Rahmi Center. So far, the 
project was funded by our parents and some circle of donators. But we, of course, would be really happy if any of you would like to give some sort of support. So that in the future, I hope that we could not only make it in Asia, but we could also expand our project globally. I know everybody is busy right now, so I think the best way to um, further communicate is through silaturahmi online communication. Means if you want to ask for further information or want to give support, you could please kindly um, email through anginurkanita at gmail.com. That's all for me. Thank you very much.